superheroine movies are few and far between, and the most prominent among them, Supergirl and Catwoman, have been closer to box office kryptonite than a soar-away success. They always talk about the Trinity, Superman, Batman and Wonder Woman, and you still haven't seen a Wonder Woman movie, ever. And she's been around almost as long as Superman. Wonder Woman is still unique because she is this female hero that isn't a sidekick that saves the day ultimately and isn't saved herself. And we just don't have enough other female heroes like that out there. Christy Guevara Flanagan's mission for justice led her to produce a documentary on the sparsity of the superheroine. There were other women featured in comics there were some female superheroes. But it wasn't until Wonder Woman that there was a really iconic character to capture people's imaginations. And she's one of the few to survive for almost 70 years now. Wonder Woman gained a new superpower in the 1970s, the ability to reach a global TV audience with Linda Carter's hit show. They did not think that a woman could carry a show, and, uh, and well, we proved them wrong and made a lot of money for the network, a lot of money. I don't think women literally need to hold up a bridge, but there's ways in our lives in which women are heroes all the time, and we need to recognize that and maybe even broaden what it means to be a hero. For people who prefer to confine their heroics to the weekends, the comic convention, once a bastion of boyhood fantasies, is now taking on a new look. When they originally started making characters, they were trying to appeal to the more male-dominated fan base, whereas it's expanded yeah. a lot since then and it hasn't quite caught up. I think people see a woman and think, oh, she's going to go feminist on me, or oh, she's going to be all whiny and like preachy and things and I think there's like quite a bad stereotype. No one seems to be able to get women quite right. They'll always either portray them as like completely evil or really ditzy. Indian film director Shekhar Kapoor feels he's got it right in his mission to create a new superheroine for India. You have been chosen. We were fortunate enough to collaborate with him on a character called Devi, which means goddess in Indian. The goddess of light. He wanted to create a character which was a female hero set in a fictitious city called Sitapur, which is like our Gotham city. And it's a futuristic Asian city in some ways. And this young girl essentially is now imbued with a cosmic force that takes her over. Initial screenings of the character in a Mumbai comic store produced a positive reaction from female viewers. You are going to get a sneak peek of Devi. I'm curious to what you think of it, okay? You have been chosen to defy the darkness, to bear the divine light. So what do you think? I think it's maybe like really cool because it's maybe the first su super woman that we have. Yeah. Do you think India needs some really strong? We do. And with the thing that's going on with women in our country right now, it's quite bad to see it. So maybe it will enlighten up the, the women in this world. Awesome. Oh, that's yeah. so nice of you to say. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it because I love the idea of a woman superhero. I'm so sick of these Cinderella stories where the woman is just waiting for this male superhero to come and rescue her. It's about time we had a woman superhero. Yeah. Davey. I predict you will see pretty much as many superheroines as superheroes as time goes by. Okay. In the meantime, girls are left to put their own spin on the few traditional superheroines. <laughs> While viewers of an appropriate age can turn to a new breed of superheroine in the weeks ahead, as the sequel to the hit movie Kick Ass brings the return of Hit Girl to cinemas around the world. Who are you? Me? I'm Hit Girl. Neil Curry, CNN.